This is a preliminary overview of the miniature AC power grid system we're building at Bellingham Technical College in our lab for the instrumentation program. I wanted to show this video of our system, even though it's incomplete right now, there's still work to be done. I wanted to show it as a thank you to all the donors who helped make it a reality, especially Automation Direct. They've donated the HMI panel here as well as about half the PLC components we've used in the generating stations. Snohomish County PUD, they've donated uh, all the protective relays we're using in the system. Puget Sound Energy donated a synchro scope and some other components, and of course all the advice and encouragement to make the system a reality. So a brief overview. What this is right here is a single line diagram showing all six generator stations in our lab. Each generating station outputs three phase power uh, to the tune of a couple hundred watts per generator, so it's a very, very low power system. And each generator has its own step up transformer and then a circuit breaker to tie to the grid. And then the grid will eventually have a pair of disconnects here, a transmission line that links these two uh, sub-networks together. We're going to focus right now on the Everest station. We've chosen station names that have somewhat of a northwest or mountainous feel to them. So we have the Diablo Minor, Everest, uh, Baker Station, Sasquatch. Uh, students had fun with the naming of things here. We're going to focus on the Everest station and first show you the color uh, changes here representing status of the equipment. I go ahead and start the generator. So I've got a student right now at the Everest station. He just started the generator. So we see the generator turns from green to red, which tells us it's running. Go ahead and close the breaker. As you close the breaker, you see that changes from green to red as well. If we focus in on the detail screen of this, you see similar statuses. You see the breaker showing up in red is being closed, and the generator is running. Go ahead and trip the breaker. And when he trips the breaker, that also shuts the generator down. That's part of our PLC programming functionality. Anytime the breaker is tripped, it just shuts down the generator automatically. I can go in here, and from this detail screen, I can remotely start the generator. So you may be able to hear the sound of the VFD in the background begin to spool up the, the generator speed. But I can start and stop it. The breaker, however, has to be closed and tripped at the local station. I do not have the capacity to do that from the HMI. Uh, part of that's just a, a limitation of the of equipment right now, but another part is uh, simply for safety. We have no auto-synchronization method here for our, from our C HMI panel, and so it's really unwise to be able to remotely close the breaker from this panel. You can shut things down, just can't put it online. We can also change the speed of the generator. Right now the generator is being turned by a three-phase motor through a VFD, and that has a speed control, so I can actually change the speed of the motor here by pressing the decrease button or increase button. I can change the speed set point, and that uh, makes slight alterations to the speed of the generator, which is important for synchronization. Before we put these generators online, we have to make sure they're spinning at the same speed, and so we have to have some control over that. Of course, we have local control over speed as well. If I walk over to the generating station, we can see uh, buttons there for increasing and decreasing speed, as well as starting and stopping and tripping and close the breaker. And then there's a few other uh, things our system does. It uh, monitors if the breaker is too slow to change states, or if there's a breaker error, if there's a conflict on the status is coming back from the circuit breaker. There's all kinds of neat little functions here our system will do. But again, to review, it's uh, preliminary. Uh, there's a lot more work to be done in the system to make it fully functional. And we want to thank all the donors who have made it a reality.